And now, your 13 News Now weather forecast, certified most accurate in Hampton Roads. Most of us haven't seen any rain yet this evening, but we are looking at a little bit of shower activity left over for some thunderstorms way off to the north. Good visibility is a little bit of low cloud and is starting to move in. You can see at first glance doesn't look like much, does it? I'm talking way up here to the north around the edge of the northern neck, actually not too far from Tappahannock back over through about Tangier and then over a little bit west of Chincoteague, a little closer to Onancock. But look at what it uh, was showing in terms of the radar presentation just two or three hours ago a lot of activity up there and in fact as we turn live lightning tracker on there's nothing left now but if you look really closely you can see a number of those strikes we probably had 40 or 50 lightning strikes up there for tonight with the front going through it's going to continue to uh, become windy that northerly wind developing at 10 to 20 miles per hour and it will be colder not a whole lot of rain though just a few very isolated showers left over most of us definitely not seeing rain tomorrow Tomorrow, we're going to be much, much cooler. The high for tomorrow is going to be in about 45 minutes or so, just after the top of the hour. Right now, we're at 70, so probably 68 or so roughly will be the official high for tomorrow. A lot different than 80, and especially when you consider the fact that that 68 is in the middle of the night when most people won't even be able to enjoy it because already, as I just said, we're going to be dropping pretty substantially during the overnight down into the 50s by morning. Not much in the way of wet weather weather though that front has pushed most of the rain either south or offshore as a new area of low pressure develops though and slides in during the afternoon is when we will see our odds increasing and then during the uh, evening as well a little bit of an upper level disturbance comes through then tomorrow night and on into uh, Wednesday morning that brings another chance of just some nasty you know windy chilly sort of dreary conditions and then that low pulls away we think sometime later Thursday leaves us with a little bit of clearing. I want to talk about the tides because we peaked earlier today a little bit below nuisance level flooding with that northerly breeze again not really impacting us just yet but by morning we're going to be up around 4.2 that is into the nuisance level and then 3.8 and then 4.7 is actually some minor flooding Wednesday around the lunch hour so watch for that as you can see some of that action again starting to fall apart but still a few very isolated areas of rain tonight as we go through into tomorrow minimal amounts anywhere from a few hundredths to a few tenths and then it gets a little bit heavier as we go tomorrow night and then on into Wednesday so here's your forecast not a great day tomorrow, although it's not going to rain all day, as we mentioned, especially in the morning. If you want to get out and vote before the rain hits, your best chance is to get out before the uh, noon hour. Uh, 60 degree high, 57 Wednesday, and then clearing later Thursday afternoon. Very chilly Friday, Saturday, and then warms up a little Sunday. All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff.